These days, when it seems every random reality TV star is running for president, you might be under the impression that anyone can run for president. But they cannot! Though America has one of the most free and democratic political systems on Earth, there are a surprisingly large number of constitutional rules that limit who can and cannot run for president. For starters, you have to be at least 35 years old to run for president. Since the next president of the United States will be formally inaugurated on January 20th, 2017, this means that to be old enough to run for president right now, you have to have been born on January 20th, 1982 or earlier. This means that Anne Hathaway and Lil Wayne could not run for president because they're just a few months too young. However, noted Full House star Jodie Sweetin could because she was born one day before the deadline, January 19th, 1982. Yes, millennials, we now live in a world in which Stephanie Tanner is old enough to be president of the United States. Rule number two for running for president is you must be a natural-born citizen of the United States. Now this is a more complicated thing than it sounds. Contrary to popular belief, being a natural-born citizen does not necessarily mean you were born inside the United States, it just means that you were born to at least one U.S. citizen parent, which under U.S. law automatically makes you a U.S. citizen as well. So for example, John McCain, Ted Cruz, Bruce Willis, Daniel Tosh, Martin Lawrence, Natalie Portman, and Keanu Reeves could all run for president even though they were born in foreign countries. They all had at least one U.S. citizen parent, meaning they inherited American citizenship naturally upon birth. In fact, even if President Obama actually was born in Kenya, he would have still been eligible to run for president because his mother was a U.S citizen. Being born in America only really matters if neither of your parents were citizens. This is why Bobby Jindal can run for president. His parents were not U.S. citizens when he was born, but he was born inside the United States. You cannot run for president, however, if you were born outside the United States and you have no U.S. citizen parents. So Jerry Springer, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Nicki Minaj, Mila Kunis, Ryan Gosling, Henry Kissinger, and Seth Rogen could not run for president because they're all dirty immigrants with no American blood at all. Now things get even more complicated from here. You cannot run for president if you were born in the United States but have lived in the country for less than 14 years. Now this is a weird rule that is sort of ambiguously worded in the Constitution, but the idea is it's supposed to prevent someone from being born in the US and then moving to some other country and living there for decades and becoming loyal to that country and then moving back to the US and trying to take over. There was probably a brief period of time in which Nicole Kidman couldn't run for president. She was born in Hawaii but moved to Australia when she was four years old. She's now been back in America for at least 20 years though, so I'd say her presidential ambitions are pretty safe. I don't think Bruce Lee could be president, however. He was born in San Francisco but spent at least half of his life in Hong Kong. And also he's dead. An even clearer case would be Boris Johnson, the mayor of London, England. He was born in New York but left America at age five and has never been back. So he couldn't be president even if he wanted to, and by the looks of it he doesn't want to because he renounced his US citizenship earlier this year. Now aside from all the citizenship questions, the only other criteria to run for president is you cannot be a former president who has already served eight years in office. This means that Jimmy Carter and George H. W. Bush could theoretically run for president again someday since they only served four years each. Come on guys, don't give up that easily. Now there is one additional very important barrier to running for president. A barrier that is not mentioned anywhere in the Constitution but is enforced by a secret cabal of unelected bureaucrats who hold the sweeping power to veto the presidential ambitions of any otherwise qualified American without even the thinnest pretense of due process. You have to submit your name before the ballot deadline closes.